Hello, welcome to Energy Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I create simple and beautiful vignettes around the kitchen. You don't have to have a lot of stuff. I'm simply using existing items, things I already have. And I'm gonna give you some tips along the way that will help you compile your story and then decorate your own space. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. I misspoke, I did make some purchases guys, and let me go ahead and apologize for the horrible audio in the kitchen. We can't fix that. So my board gives you a sense of the direction that I'm going in. I have dark cabinets, but this is going to flip the script a little bit. It's going to really brighten up the kitchen with those lighter wooden pieces, the rug, the seagrass placemats, plenty of white, whether it's in the form of the dishes, that leaf, ceramic leaf, and the canisters, other pieces, whether it's a throw or accessories all around. So let's get to work on that. Let's start up top. Let's do a DIY using some existing faux greenery and that old box that I built. Now these boxes are growing in popularity. There are plenty of them at Home Goods right now. I'm gonna go ahead and flash a few of them on the screen for you. I just love the look of cattails in a floral arrangement. You can't go wrong with white dishes. I purchased so many over the years that I just go into the cabinet and pull them out and just create this vignette. And I think this is so pretty sitting right here, just like morning down on the farm, you know? And most of my white plates and coffee cups are from Dollar Tree. These seagrass placemats are sturdy enough to be hung on the wall, and I'm considering that an option. This Lazy Susan is from Home Goods, and on top of it, I added a faux floral arrangement, a beautiful napkin box, a candle, and that's all. Thus far, we've done three projects. I'm just looking back here at the board. Now, I also wanna say faux florals were not on the list. I'm always gonna add a touch of green. A couple of things I could do here, but I prefer to keep it very simple. I don't like a lot of things on the counter around the stove. Now, I could add another tray behind the canisters or even double back here with a wooden cutting board behind this leaf and it then would still carry out my theme. But for me, my preference is to keep it light in the stove area.
I love this board. I purchased it from Kirkland's last summer on clearance and it has never been inside of a cabinet or a closet. It's always out. Now, if you just have one topiary ball and you've got two vases, then guess what? Just take this little guy and just rip it. Tear it apart. Yeah, they'll snap back together as well. But you can just tear them apart and then you'll have two. It'll be a little bit lower, but you'll still have two. Okay, now keeping with some of the things that I've already discussed, Check your inventory, pull together items. Whether you plan on using them or not, they'll probably be used in some way, form, or fashion. And then make sure you have all the materials on the board. Make sure you have all of those together, and then start to place them. Think in odd numbers every single time, and one is a good odd number. A lot of times we feel that because it's just one item, it doesn't fill the space. But guess what? It adds an accent to the space, and sometimes that's enough. Minimalism is a good philosophy to practice when you're decorating, and then as you get more skilled at decorating, you can add other pieces. But sometimes the power of one is the most powerful number of all. And I considered painting the table, no way. I don't wanna paint the table, I don't wanna paint the chairs. The other solution in order to brighten it and differentiate it from the floor is to put a rug on the floor. I love Cecil rugs. Eventually, I'm going to have them in every room of our home. This really impacted this space. This one's by Safavia and it's from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box. These five large picks are from Hobby Lobby. You know how it is, 50% off florals every other week. This is a Goodwill vase that was spray painted with some old spray paint. Uh, white so I think I'm going to eventually paint it to be an accent color so for now it is white I try to avoid trends as much as possible and basically do what I enjoy in my home. And one time I tripped up and I heard an interior designer who I really admire said, get rid of all of these faux plants around your house. And I thought maybe I'm a little old fashioned and I got rid of the flowers, but not the greenery. Now I want my greenery back and obviously I want my florals back. They make me happy. This is temporary artwork. You know, after Christmas, you're cleaning up and you know there was holiday artwork on this wall. So I don't want to like pull everything down and then have to really have so much to do in a room and not look like it's styled or clean. So I just did a quick DIY here just to temporarily fill the space. So now we are entering into what I call the brown zone. Brown couch, brown chair, brown floor. You know how that works. I want to make a couple of more of these. This is a DIY. It fits right in with the board and I love this honey finish on this. It's just really, really pretty. And I want to make a couple of more to go right there and just in different shapes. It doesn't all have to be round. And I'll share that DIY with you. I've also done a vignette on the coffee table and that just adds a pop more of the white and the naturalness with the basket. So let me share that with you right now. And as you can clearly see, we did something a little bit different on the mantle. So again, let's just jump right into it. 
This beautiful vase is made of olive wood. I purchased it from a linens boutique located in Macon, Georgia. You're going to see this driftwood garland on the mantle, but I'm going to remove it. Now I have to add some bird of paradise florals to this arrangement. Now with the items currently on the mantle, it's a little too woody woodpecker for me. So later on as the seasons move in with the warmer weather, we're going to add more color, but this is the basis for getting started. And we'll just take that garland and put it in a large glass vessel and a couple of shells or something. You gotta start using what you got. I have very traditional furniture here. It's that whole Ethan Allen phase that you kind of go through. I have a traditional table, traditional console table that I'm using as a TV stand. So I'm dressing it up to suit my theme. Seagrass tray here, holding that large seashell topiary, added a candle and a book, and then my ginger jar, which I was gonna place on top of the cabinet ledges, but I changed my mind and decided to use one here on the table. I'm using the topiaries again, undressed for Christmas, place them in a large squared plastic flower pot. I will go back and add some moss to cover all of that up, stuff in a little paper underneath it, of course. Got my basket with a pillow here. I got an old lamp right here, which I'm definitely going to update. That artwork is going to be updated. And the artwork above the TV, I think it needs to be something of an outdoor scene. You need to have that added into this space. I hear you take that ginger jar off the coffee table and put it on the mantel. So I refer back to my board. Like I said, you don't necessarily have to use every piece of everything that you have, but it is your inspiration board. And if you noticed last year, there was such a trend with furniture stores pulling out more of these natural elements in their home decor lines. I saw it everywhere. Rooms to go, Ethan Allen, Front Gate, Ballard, everybody was rocking it all the way upscale. So it didn't matter where you were, you saw this incorporation and I absolutely love it and you even saw glam go rustic glam in a huge way well that's it for me guys i want to thank you so much for stopping by i hope you liked today's video if you are not a subscriber consider doing so today and press the bell so you don't miss a single notification that i have posted the very next video and that will be in the next couple of days. Christmas is down now and it's time to just keep moving and work my strategy. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.